everybody. How are you today? Welcome back to my channel. My Elaine here. Um, I've been playing around with my Cricut. And yesterday I made this cute little kitty. Okay, there are some stains up here. I don't know why. Maybe my hands were dirty or it's glue that got stuck. I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm probably not even going to use this. It's supposed to be in uh, shades of grey. Yes, it sounds uh, like a movie, <laughs> but it isn't. Uh, I didn't have, it had like, I don't know, three or four different shades of grey in it. I don't have that, so I just used some colors that I did have. And I think it looks kind of cute. This is one of the daily freebies at uh, Miss Kate Cuttables. I'll link the site below. And uh, I saved this one and I used it uh, for my Cricut. I love that thing. And uh, right now, I... Uh, let's see. I'll take the phone off. Oh, that was zooming in and I didn't want that. Hang on. Right now, I am having all the parts for this little cutie on my desk, and uh, I did it in uh, a couple of different colors, and as you can see here, the only thing that is black is the eye, so I, uh, I decided not to cut the whole part of the unicorn out, but I'm just going to cut out a tiny piece of black and put that on there, which I was supposed to do and I uh, I forgot, so I'm just going to pause this and come back later. I'm back. So, this is the cute little unicorn and um, let's get all those pieces together. I'm going to put the phone back on the Oops, sorry, my hand in the, in the image. Ah. There we go. These are all the parts that you need. As you can probably see, uh, I can't get it off the desk. You start out with this one, and then that one goes, the pink one goes on top. And then you need to put these on somewhere. I haven't discovered that yet. And that one goes on top of that. So, let's see. Here is the black circle that I um, punched out. And I am just gonna add that around the eye. So that that will cover for the eyelash. There we go. That's on. It doesn't matter that there is glue all over because I'm going to glue it on anyways. So, let's set you aside for a minute because you are the last part. Then we're going to start with this one. I'm going to just put some glue all over. And I'm showing you this because I'm working on a flip book. And um, I can't show you that because it's not done, first of all. And second of all, I won't show it till the person that it's for has received it. And um, it's, uh, it was pretty warm over the weekend, so I decided to take some stuff outside. And um, I had to put heavy stuff on all my papers because um, it was so windy and everything blew away the whole time. So this is like really covered in glue. Oh boy, my desk is covered in glue too. I don't have a paper towel. Well, there. 
we go. Gone. Ta ta. Now let's see how we are going to do this. I always just put it on and then I'm going to see how it all fits. Everything needs to be covered. No purple edges. Actually, you were supposed to do this into uh, different shades of pink, but I like the purple. Purple is my favorite color, so I decided to do that. And I think it looks kind of cool. Okay, there's glue all over the place, but that'll work out fine when I'm done. I think I need to put this one on right now, like so. Oh, there's a little tiny piece still stuck in there. There we go. Everything else is out. Uh, where do you go on top of that? There. Oh my gosh, this is adorable, don't you think? Okay, cover you in glue. Oopsie daisy. Boring, right? Seeing someone put glue on. That's okay. I'll go fast. There. Chum, 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 chum. So, anyways, I uh, sat outside and I had my uh, paper cutter thing and I had my scoreboard. So, I, uh, I made some paper rosettes. And I'm finally getting the hang of it. And they look so cute, but I cannot show. So, that uh, is going to be shown another time. And uh, as it is very warm here, I am not doing a lot because my room is very warm. So I try to do most things in the morning because then... The sun isn't really on my room. Let's see, how is this coming together? Put it a little bit up. I think this looks kind of cool, right? Oh gosh, you are so adorable. Everything is into unicorns right now, so I really like this. I don't like all the glue, but that'll go away. So this has to go on there. <laughs> oh, this is so stinking cute. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, yesterday I was home too. Unexpected, but uh, well, I won't get into that. But um, anyways, my oldest daughter was off, so she stopped by, and my youngest was done at 12.30, and as it was so nice, she said, let's go to Port Dover. And Port Dover is like, what, 10 minute drive from here, and it was so nice. So we drove there, and then... She um, treated us with ice cream. And uh, Port Dover is on Lake Erie, so we had our ice cream and uh, walked up the pier. And that was so nice, because it was so warm here, but on the lake it's always a little cooler. So that was really nice, had the breeze and yeah. That was great. I had a wonderful, lovely ice cream, tiger tail, yum yum. I love that one. And the girls both had uh, blueberry cheesecake, which was delicious too. So next time I'm going to take that. So there we are. My cute little unicorn. Isn't she adorable? I love this. Huh. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. Because it's pretty big, it won't fit on a pocket letter, but that's fine. 
uh, I don't want to zoom in. Whatever. Never mind. Um, maybe I can use it on a flipbook or something. Not sure yet. So, that is what I wanted to show you. Um, I'll probably be back with something else because I'm trying something out right now in my oven. So, to be continued. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I was doing, I was trying to make my own enamel dots. Because I love those things, but they are very expensive. Um, I know for sure that Doodlebug has them. And of course, I want to have everything Doodlebug, but uh, you get a couple of different sizes. I think it's four colors. And uh, you pay five bucks for that. And then it has to be shipped here. So, no, I didn't do that. And I have seen a lot of people uh, doing it at home in their toaster oven. Now, I don't have a toaster oven. But I have just my regular oven. A gas oven is what I have. So what I uh, saw and heard on videos here on YouTube, they put it on 325 or 350 degrees. Um, and they use the perler beads. Well, I did not have the perler beads. But yesterday I was... I gotta grab it. Oh, there. Yesterday I was um, in Port Dover, like I said earlier, and um, there's this store, Lens Mill, and they have uh, all kinds of fabric and yarn and what not in uh, one store, and the other store has clothing and pff, I don't even know stuff for the bathroom and pillows and duvets and comforters. You name it, they have it, but they have a craft section too. So I went there and I saw these beads. I think there's 500 in there. So there's green, there's pink, there's yellow, there's orange and blue and purple. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take these with me. They were only 99 cents. And I'll see what happens. So... What I did was I took four of each color. The pink is uh, this almost the same as the purple. It is not perfect, but I like it. There is still a little hole, a tiny little hole visible. I started out with uh, 325 degrees and I did it for 15 minutes and that was not right so I uh, they, they were still like open and uh, then I added like 10 extra minutes still nothing happening so I put the temperature up to 350 and for another 10 minutes, nope, still not perfect, so I did another 15 minutes. So I think, I think I had them in the oven for almost an hour. And that's okay, I was just trying it out. And here is the orange one. And this one actually isn't so bad. Can you see that? It's not really focusing, I think. But... Maybe if you move it a little so the light falls on it, you can see a, a little dent in it. And this is just some sheet, Teflon sheet. I don't know what it is, but you can use it in the oven. It doesn't burn. This didn't even stink or smell, whatever. Um, this yellow isn't so bad either. It's not completely round, but for the first time, I'm kind of excited. So, and they go get off the sheet very easy. So now I have to find something that I'll put them in because I want to use this. 
and the next time I'm just gonna put a lot more in and uh, see what happens then so that's what I wanted to show you I am able a little bit able to make my own uh, enamel dots so that was everything thanks for watching and you all have a wonderful day bye